State police are searching for clues in a tragic accident on the thruway this morning that killed two children from Buffalo. These young boys were in a vehicle that flipped over on the thruway near Syracuse. News 4's Jen Schantz has more on this. Jen. Well, Jackie, it looks like this was a family traveling home to Buffalo from Brooklyn, New York. This all happened in the westbound lanes of the I 90 between the Geneva and Manchester exits. The two boys, 9 and 11, are brothers. They were pronounced dead at the scene this morning. The children were reported. Ejected from the back seat. State police tell us the man, the driver, is a man in his early 30s. He was driving west on the I 90 just before 6 this morning when his car hit a guardrail, rolling several times. We're not sure if the man, what the man's relationship to the kids is, but police have confirmed the adult female passenger in the front seat is their mother. Both the male driver and the female passenger were taken to Strong Memorial. We know the male is in critical condition. The female's injuries are non life threatening. Now, police were looking for a second vehicle here because they believe it may have unknowingly hit one of those little boys after he was ejected from the car. They located that car around 11 this morning at a repair shop in Farmington. We're still waiting on what police found out from that car or if that driver will be charged in any way. Here's what state police had to say about it this afternoon. One of the boys uh, was in the roadway, was uh, struck by a Honda Civic. Um, the person that struck the young boy didn't realize, uh, certainly wouldn't expect a, a person to be in the roadway, uh, thought it was some type of debris from the accident. Um, there was some damage to that vehicle and needed repairs, so we located that vehicle at a, a repair shop in Farmington. The westbound lanes between exits 42 and 43 were closed for a few hours this morning. State police are still asking that anyone with information contact them. That number is on their screen. It's 585-389-4100. Now, the cause of this accident. Police are hoping if and when the male driver is able, he can tell them more about what happened. All lanes on that portion of the 190 are now once again open. The names of those two little boys will be released tomorrow. We'll keep you posted. Live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.